Greetings, everyone. Let's try this again. Take three. I need your help. I need to sell these hats. They are homeless. They need to find homes. They have been around my place too long. They are hand spun, hand dyed, by, with plant material, by yours truly. <clears throat> they are $40 a piece, which includes shipping within you, the United States. This is crochet, and the number is 030. This, it is dyed with popular leaves. It is a small hat, so it be with, with a small head. It's about 18 inches in circumference. This hat would be good probably for a teen or anybody with a smaller sized head. On to the next one. <clears throat> uh, they really have been hanging around too long. Let's see. This one is a good size hat. This is about 22 inches in length in circumference. This hat is would be great for springtime and it also looks nice with a flower which I will put up probably on my blog spot. This is number 031 and this is dyed and it's very light in color but it is dyed with elm bark. On to the next one. This this is a nice good size hat. This one coming up it's about 22 inches in diameter. It's a nice wide brimmed hat. This is number 032. This was dyed with juniper needles. And then that just lovely and divine. This hat too would look great with a flower, which I will have up on my blog spot. I hope you like. And that was number 032. And I will have stills up on my blog spot of all of these hats also. This next one is dyed with goldenrod. <clears throat> this is about 20 inches or more in diameter. This is 033. And like I said, this is dyed with goldenrod. One of my favorite plants to dye with. And she just lovely. Wouldn't she look nice in your home, on your head? She's homeless, you know. She needs a home. Okay, this next one is another good size hat. It, oh, yes. This will fit a big head like me. Anybody out there in the big head club, this is for you. Uh, this is dyed with juniper needles and own 34 and this one needs a home also this is this is a style that I wear and I really enjoy that with a tiny little brim that helps keep the Sun off out of my eyes so that is oh 34 I sound like I'm feel like I'm calling bingo the next one is a little bit smaller. It's another watch cap. And it's about 22 inches in diameter. That will be nice for the gentleman in your life. That is a New Zealand gray that has been dyed with popular needles. So the wool is actually a slight gray, but it was dyed with popular, not popular needles, popular leaves, which we have in abundance where I live. <clears throat> okay, and the next one is more of a bonnet type hat. And that's a 22 or 23 inches. This is a good another one for the big hatter club. This is number 036, and it has been dyed with juniper needles. That sat in the pot for quite a long time. That's why it got so dark in color. All my wool is merino or Falkland wool. It has been 
which it means it's, very, it's on the soft side. Merino is super soft. Falkland is the next one down, but it's very difficult to tell the difference between the two. <clears throat> this is a beret, and this is probably more for, uh, it's a good size, about 20 inches or more in diameter. This is one of my first ones. This is only single ply, so that's why there's a different look to it. This is O37. Um, what, what did I count? Well, I didn't write down when it was dyed with. Because probably I don't remember. If I don't write it down, it doesn't. Um, I would say it was something light. Hmm, I don't remember. It's really a smart looking hat, don't you think? It's homeless too. It would really love it to be in your home. Okay, I just got a couple more here. Here's another beret. Which is about um, about the same size, about 22 inches in diameter. The previous one was 037. This is 038, and this is actually dyed with cabbage, purple cabbage. Can you believe? And she just divine a nice little soft grayish blue. She needs a home, also, people. You know, let's let's get let's get my hat some homes, okay? Really. And the last but not least, oh, 39. Like I said, this is a little bit snugger hat too. So this is for a medium to small size head. This is dyed with black walnut and onion skin. And see, like I said, it's. You can tell how I'm getting it on the vinegar bottle here, which is my display. So as you can see, that's quite a stunning, I think this is quite stunning. I think it's a quite stunning hat myself. It's an unusual crochet pattern, and I think it is just absolutely beautiful. And yes, that's an upside down vinegar bottle. Perfect on a little stand. It spins around so I can give you guys a whole look when I'm really paying attention. So that's it for my hats. I hope you buy one. There's my email will be below. Message me with details. I have PayPal. And that's how we will do it. And I will mark it off if it gets sold. And over and out for now.